Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how you can deploy your ECS Fargate containers in private subnets. So this is the setup which we'll try to achieve today. We'll have a VPC, we'll have public subnet and private subnet in it, and we'll deploy a application container in ECS Fargate. And for comms, for ECS Fargate, we'll also create a net gateway. So let's get started. To keep this video short and simple, I will not show how you create VPC and how you create public subnet or private subnet. So I've already created them. What I will show here is how you can create task definition for your container and deploy that container in private subnets and how to ensure that private subnet is running fine. So let's log into AWS console and go to VPC. If you see here, this is my VPC dev cluster. This is the CIDR range and in this I have four subnets this is one private subnet second private subnet and these two are public subnets now if for public subnets if you see route table here they are attached with internet gateway so they have internet access both of them whereas in private 1 and private 2 both have only VPC routing no other routing to internet now we'll go to ECS and create our task list and deploy our container. Let's go to ECS, click on task definitions, create new task definition, give some name to your task definition. Let's say, then the first thing is container details. So give some name for your container and you have to provide the container image. Now my images are in ECR, so you can get this image URI from ECR, go to ECR your repository and select the image and this is the URI which is needed there. Let's go back, paste. Container ports. Now my container exposes 8080 port. So whatever port your container will be running on, we have to expose that. And TCP or UDP, we'll select TCP. App protocol, leave it as HTTP. Environment variables you can pass or you can pass through S3 health check for the container. So for my container, the health check will be at port 8080. So I will place this. Interval, which says what should be the interval between two checks. So let's say it should wait five seconds, that is minimum. Timeout. So if the response is not received within that time, then it will consider as fail. So minimum is two seconds. I will give it three seconds. Uh, start period, I will leave it empty. Normally this is the time which you allow the container to boot up and then the health check should start. So, and retries, I will allow to try at least three times before it says it fails. Next, app environment, it should be a Fargate. I'll be using Linux. Now CPU, I do not want for demo purpose one vCPU, I will keep it as 0.5. Memory also not that much required, one GB is more than enough for demo purpose. You can select based on your container requirement. Task roles, so ECS task execution role by default, network mode will be AWS VPC for Fargate containers. Only if it is EC2 instance, then you can either select AWS VPC or bridge network. Storage also I will leave it default, but if you have any requirement, you can actually attach either EFS or uh, Docker volumes to this. Monitoring logging, you can actually log to CloudWatch if required, you can add that, I will leave it as default, and tags. So next, so you can review the changes and create. So this will create the task definition. So task definition is created, we'll go to cluster now and create cluster give a cluster name let's say private cluster networking select the VPC where it will be so this is a VPC and instead of selecting all the subnets I just want private subnets so I will remove public subnets so it has only private 2 and private 1 and rest I will leave it as default and create so this will create ECS cluster so cluster is created we go in cluster, it's in active state. We'll create a service. Here, select the task definition, test article. 
it will auto select the revision you can change if you have multiple revisions give it a service name then desired task I will keep it one and in networking select the VPC so this is the right VPC where I want my service and subnets I want only private subnets so I will remove public ones so these are private one private two subnets uh, security group I already have a security group which allows access to this service public IP I do not want so I will turn it off only private IPs will be assigned load balancing right now we will not attach this container to any load balancer and no service auto scaling option setting we just create so it will take a couple of minutes to create the service so it's creating the service status is active and it is trying to deploy task go to tasks here and you can see it is trying to create one task desired status is running and it's trying to start the container health status is still unknown so we'll go inside this task and we'll monitor its health health status is still unknown so we'll wait for some time so after trying for a couple of minutes to start the container it finally failed and the reason is it could not reach ECR to pull down the container image you can see here this container does not have public IP and it is not run in public subnet it only has a private IP so it needs a way to reach ECR to download that image and for that we have to create net gateway so let's go to VPC and net gateways create net gateway give some name and select subnets now net gateway has to be in public subnet so select public subnet and you need to associate elastic IP and leave the tags and create net gateway it will take few minutes to create one the so state is still pending so after a couple of minutes net gateway is available now so we will add this to our private subnet route so we'll go to subnet private subnet route table and you see the route table for both the subnets I have kept same you may have different so you have to add to each of the route tables so I'll go to the route table and this is a private route routes edit routes add a route for zero destination to net gateway and it will automatically show the net gateway and save changes so now route is added so we'll go back to ECS and for the same task we'll refresh because it will keep trying to start the container and if we see now configurations we go back to task and you see immediately the status has become running status is healthy so your Fargate container in private subnet is now running and is up and available to serve requests I hope this helps you to set up your Fargate containers in private subnets that's it for this session we'll see you in the next one Thank you.